Hey, yo, I'm back. Uh, check this out. My guess, to be honest, is that they don't change it. Maybe if they do a slight adjustment, that might put that center line back over Baton Rouge, only based on the trend of the storm right now. But folks at the weather, sir, or folks at the hurricane center may say, nah, that's just part of the wobble. It may go back to the uh, more center line or just to the west, and they don't change it. Intensity wise, I don't think they're going to change it, only because most of the models are actually only peaking at a three. They probably won't change that, only because the atmosphere is still prime. Though the models are not saying that, it's still looks like everything is in place for this to continue to explode in strength and continue to strengthen right up to the point of landfall. It's very so it, 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 it's strengthening. Later on tonight. We'll start to see some of the associated when, when, when it get over, o, over on land, it's going to weaken. Unless the rivers and the, the, and the canals or whatever is... Early tomorrow. Let me so shut up. Still have, if you're planning, planning to stay at home, that's what I was doing this morning. As my wife and kids were leaving, I was bringing everything inside or just bringing it up against the house, not creating any additional debris flying around once the winds start. Because once the winds and rain start, you are not going to be one. You are not going to want to be outdoors in this by any means. Even if we can keep the strongest of the winds right near the center and outside of Metro New Orleans, it is still going to be a nasty day all day tomorrow. The only silver lining is that it does look like it's going to be moving through very quickly. We'll still have the heavy rain, notice, that's still being fed in, that deep tropical fetch of moisture still feeding the heavy rainfall in during the early morning hours of Monday. But it does look like as we get just after sunrise and toward the mid-morning hours of Monday, we are already seeing improving conditions. There is always light at the end of the tunnel. Here's a that's right. comparison of landfall and what the models are thinking. Now, this time is at the same. We're looking at the models both at Sunday, 11 p.m. I hope this stay on YouTube because I'm going to watch this. Marsh Island, so out toward Morgan it, it Channel 4 uh, saved this. Notice, moving up toward Baton Rouge. Sunday, 11 p.m., GFS. Where is it moving? Right over Baton Rouge. So, yes, there might have been a slight adjustment back to the east with the models, but not dramatically so. It just kind of brings the storm center back over Baton Rouge. So I stick to my statement that I made yesterday. It still looks like conditions are going to be worse in Baton Rouge than they will be in New Orleans. A very similar type setup that we saw in Gustav. We still had power outages here. I was here in Gustav in 2008. We still had power outages. We still had damage, but it was much worse in Baton Rouge. Matter of fact, a few folks here said, well, I was planning to send my family to Baton Rouge. No, go farther west, Lafayette. I have family in Lafayette. They left as well. Go to Lake Charles or even into Texas. If you're going to go, go to Houston or Dallas. Maybe Mobile, but even Mobile, notice starting during the afternoon and evening, may start to see some tropical storm force winds. Kind of the same goes for the Florida coast, but if you're inland enough, it's not going to be nearly as devastating, and they're not going to see nearly the damage that we will in southern Mississippi and in Louisiana. Now, this is one of the Euro forecast products looking at the wind. So this doesn't exactly agree with what the National Hurricane Center is saying. You find the yellows. These are the category one and two force winds, so 70 to 110 miles an hour. And then the whites are representative of major hurricane force winds. That's going to be right near the center. We always talk about don't pay attention right to the center. Well, in this case, you do, because that's where the strongest winds will be. Certainly right along our coast, from Plaquemines to Lower Jefferson, could easily find winds and sustain of over 110 miles an hour for a brief period. It's almost, it's almost substantial Notice right there. Again, the Euro product with the Hurricane Center's forecast overlay doesn't exactly agree. The storm here, based on the Euro, would have it taking a path right over Homa and Thibodeau. I heard from a viewer in Thibodeau saying, I'm going to hunker in. You think I'll be okay? I don't. I really don't, because you've got this passing directly over Homa and Thibodeau. So all of Terrebonne, most of Lafouche is looking at these major hurricane force winds. Now, things have kind of changed since yesterday. It certainly looks like we will see hurricane force winds almost guaranteed in Metro New Orleans. And at times, they may be in excess of 100 miles an hour. That's going to do some significant damage. And we know from experience, 
it doesn't take much to get power outages so expect widespread power outages river parishes same thing but you are more inclined to see the major one hundred eleven plus mile per hour wind and that wind field moves in the direction of baton rouge so baton rouge certainly has a higher likelihood of the one ten plus mile per hour wind speeds as opposed to new orleans probably on the more lower end of that seventy eighty maybe as say let's say eighty to ninety mile per hour still even just a ten mile an hour difference can uh, be a difference in just how much widespread damage and this is a pretty wide swath of hurricane force or major hurricane force winds so the damage okay. is going to be fairly extensive something that was pointed out to me with Zeta and talking about how long it took for so many people to get their power back the damage swath from Zeta was fairly narrow and it was really just over most of our viewing area this damage swath is probably going to be a great deal larger so there's going to be more repairs that will be necessary to get power back on so you know if I'm guessing and I don't work for Entergy obviously but I would guess it would take longer to get power back on from uh, Ida than it was from Zeta, and Zeta was a long duration, and the difference is it's not cool outside, and it's not going to be cool outside at all in the coming week ahead. We're also going to be watching for, with the landfall, and I did change this number here, it is a two. There is a slight risk of uh, severe weather tornadoes. Anytime you get a landfalling storm being on the eastern side, as those bands begin to set up, it's going to easily spawn some tornadoes, so expect tomorrow we're going to be constantly talking about tornado warnings being issued across across the area. Rainfall totals. We are looking at the greatest swath right near and just to the east generally of the line uh, of the center line of where the storm makes landfall. Gotcha. You can also expect some heavy amounts wherever those bands begin setting up and moving in. And there are some times where the bands set up and you get 10 plus inches just to the east or west. Because I, I, I guess I got to get out of here, y'all, but, on exactly but my AT woman to leave, so, so I got to get out of here. During the day tomorrow and y'all listen to Chris. On Monday. The Steering currents have been fairly on point. It's anchored this upper high along the east coast. That is keeping the storm moving up toward the north or northwest, excuse me, and then we'll start taking more of a northeasterly track as the weakening high will make make way for an upper trough that should start to uh, upper trough. This rotation and pull it out toward the Ohio Valley and up toward the Ohio Valley coast. and everything. Wind shear is non-existent. There is still that upper low in the western part of uh, the Gulf of Mexico, but look at the outflow from this storm. In other words, this is that exhaust where the storms are able to grow and intensify, and it takes the higher clouds away from the center. In other words, this energy is able to keep growing because it has the ability to kind of exhaust itself out into the atmosphere. If this was capped off, say with an upper load helping to shear the storms, that would help us out. Unfortunately, that is just not the case. And as we've been talking about that deep warm water, that's where the storm is right now. Now at a point, it will kind of leave that deep warm water. However, in this region of the Gulf of Mexico, Sea surface temperatures are in the upper 80s. It's going to have plenty of energy to work with in terms of further strengthening over the course of the day further today strengthening. and going into much of the day tomorrow before landfall. So tropical impacts will begin tonight. Not much has really changed with the forecast. Again, we're waiting for the 4 o'clock advisory. We might see a little bit of a shift off to the east. If we do, it wouldn't be dramatic. We'll see if they do end up changing it. Landfall is likely landfall will be as a major hurricane on Sunday and so your plan should be in place and executed if you're leaving really you should have left by now because we've already seen what the traffic looks like on the roadways if you're staying in place hopefully you already have all your supplies if you do need to go out for any kind of errands to get something hopefully it's near the home because really trying to travel around the city is going to be very very difficult at this point point. and then by tonight and early tomorrow morning you just need to stay in place wherever you end up being Rain on radar, the storm is already starting to show up on our wide uh, next ray. This is kind of a composite of all the radars across the country, and you're already starting to see those bands of the kind of very much outer bands of the rainfall that are now kind of within about 60 miles of the mouth of the river. So it won't be too much longer as the storm moves northwest that we will begin to see these passing showers moving through, and the tropical downpours are going to be heavy at times, with at times a very, or I should say, there is going to be a very high level likelihood of flash flooding across almost all of southeast Louisiana from Ida. All right. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> oh, what's so funny, bro? All right. All right. All right. Good. Get a coffee. Get some candy. Right. You have a long time to go. You're talking about all right. actually. We're looking at uh, some video and pictures of people who were pretty frustrated.
Wait, let's see. I mean, just sort of mass exodus of everyone trying to leave Louisiana. Look at that. But it's not just the roadways. Take a look. This is video inside of the airport. We hey, shot this a short time ago. You can see all of these people trying to get out of town before the storm gets. Now, we don't know exactly what is the holdup here. We've heard uh, some speculation that this had something to do with the number of TSA agents that were available. Um, we know that there were a number of canceled flights. We know that some people went to the airport so that they could get out of Well, well, well. That, 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 uh, that's a crowd up there, you know? Okay, so... Yep, so 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 we still watching this very carefully. We 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 going we we going to get hit half half of the city though, you know. Half of the city is going 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 to be hit by this by this storm, you know, but hopefully no 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 serious damage, you know. Well, the the, the roof might might come off and stuff like that, you know. You, you never know. Okay? So hopefully we we'll, we'll be all right in this house, you know. But I don't think we we gonna be in here. We we not gonna be in here. We we, we gonna be gone out this house, and I'm I'm gonna walk around here and stuff like that, and go. All right. Like it's drizzling a little. Let, 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 let's go outside and, and 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 see how the weather looks so far. Okay. So we supposed to be gone in a minute. All right. Let's let, let, let let's go step outside. Feel like it's drizzling out here. Yep, the the, the sun is in in the clouds, it, 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 as y'all can see around here. You know. Mhm. Mm yep. I, I I really don't want to get out of this house though, but I but but I might have to. You know. I'm gonna probably come around here and, and uh. I'm gonna probably be around here to to uh you know. Hopefully none. Who the hell that ice cream cup for? Hmm. Hopefully everything will be be all right in this house though. Mhm. Mm yep. While while some people pre pre prepare for this storm, okay. So uh, the way I think about it, ladies and gentlemen, I got to uh, got to be safe. Better safe than sorry. Even though we, we we think it ain't gonna be so bad, you know. Mhm. Mm all right. So that, that's all we gonna do. That's all we gonna see, you know. Uh huh. Hopefully, I'm gonna. I'm gonna be at. I'm gonna take my cameras and stuff, you know. Save enough fuel for for the. Uh, for this, but I, I I gotta go charge this phone. Okay, the grass died right here, you know, be, be, be because of that furniture and stuff right there. Y'all see the previous videos or whatnot, you know. I don't think y'all saw any previous videos. All right, so I guess I'll see y'all when I see y'all. This this Facebook Live has no title for some reason. Oh well, it is what the heck it is. All right, bye.